Hey, today I'm going to walk you through on how to create a Crystal Reports viewing bezel inside of Bezlio. I first started off by creating my own panel for Crystal Reports. And I'm going to go ahead and create a view inside of this panel. Name it Crystal Reports Viewer. And then go ahead and create this view. Now I'm going to select the bezel and this is going to give me a list of all of my bezels, all my shared bezels, and then create bezel. So in order to create this Crystal Reports viewer, you pull it from the apps and all I have to do is just select this app and hit create. And now it's been added to my bezels. So now I'm going to scroll to the bottom, select that Crystal Reports viewer bezel, and it's going to load right here inside of my Crystal Reports Viewer panel. So all of these reports that are listed are being pulled from a specific folder on our server. So this is being pulled from the Dev Epicor 10 um, folder inside of here. So you can see these three RPT files. If you wanted to add another, all you would have to do is just drag and drop into this folder hit refresh in Bezlio, and then it'll show up on this list as well. But I'm going to start off by going to just this first labor report. Now, what we're actually doing is we're executing a report from the server, generating this PDF, and we're packaging and encrypting that PDF, sending it through the network to my device. And so from this point, I have the ability to go ahead and print this, or I could send it I email to somebody to share. The next report I wanted to go through was the orders by state chart. So in this report, I have the ability to define it by a date parameter. And I'll go ahead and enter the first of 2001 through the end of 2017. Select OK to define. And in here, it's going to pull up a pie chart of all my sales by state. And then on this right hand side of the report, it lists all of those states and their percentages contributing to this pie chart. From here, I could go ahead and print or share it, or I could update the parameters if I wanted a different date range. All I would do is just update this due to 2014, select OK. You can see the loading. And then once it refreshes, you're going to get those different percentages and what contributes to this pie chart. And lastly is the orders by state. So in this report, we can define the parameters by state and by date. So I am going to go ahead and select all, but you could also choose specific states in here as well. And then I'll choose the same, the 2001 date through the end of 2017. Select OK to define. And then from here, it's pulling in every single state that we have orders from, the order dates from 2001 on, and then parts per description, and then the pricing. Again, you can update parameters for this specific file. All you would do is change them, select OK, and rerun the report. <laughs>